Hi folks, let me ask you a question. How many times did you come back to your shared flat and found the kitchen in this state? Or like this? And let's not even venture in the bathroom. It happens a lot, right? That's why we at Code Tank decided to team up and find a way to organize a functional cleaning schedule and have fun at the same time. That's why we're developing an app. We're developing Broommates. Let's have a look at how the app really works so far. First of all, we need to sign up as admin to create a vege, a shared space, and eventually create our character. Let's call our first vege Broomies and enter a valid admin password. Now we select all the tasks related to our vege shared space, which are grouped into the kind of room they relate to. The app will then randomly assign all the chosen tasks to each player. Now it's time to give shape to our character. We can call him Balash. And he will look like this. Now we need a password to secure our login and we'll end in the hub. The hub collects all the players and their stats. Furthermore, it lets you edit your VG, enter a shop or an arena. But we will talk about these features later. For now, you can see our character, Balash, and an icon to invite all the players. Let's invite our flatmate, Plamen. Perfect! Plamen will now receive a cheerful email invitation containing a link that directs him to the same character creation page that we used to make our character Balash. Because we sent invitations to all our flatmates, the hub displays now four players and is at its full potential. Let's take a look at some character profile and start our epic battle against this organization. In the character's profile page, we can see the inventory, the task manager, the hub and the logout. We can also choose if our character is active or not. The personal section in our task manager will let us inspect what tasks our character has been assigned to and choose where to start from. And vacuuming the kitchen floor feels like a good start. Remember that each character has one week's time to complete all their assigned tasks, otherwise they will lose points. Time to vacuum the kitchen floor then. Very good! Now that the task is completed, all the other players will be notified about it. Let's inspect another player's task manager and reach for the validation section. The validation task manager collects all the notifications regarding the completion of the other player's tasks, which need to be validated. Balash did a good job, and the kitchen floor looks pretty clean already. Bravo! Validating a task grants you a certain amount of points. On the other hand, not validating at all will result in a loss of points by the end of the one week's completion time. Validating a task with a no will also grant you some points, but the player responsible for that task will not gain full points for its completion. The question now is, what to make of these points? Well, the answer is easy. We buy war gear and prepare for battle. A few moments ago, I spoke about some future features, remember? Let's head back to the hub and inspect that strange shop slash arena section. If we first go to the shop, we see a selection of weapons, armor and potions, which we can buy with the points we collected completing our tasks and throughout other players' validations, and which will land straight in our character's inventory. Once we're geared up and are ready for battle, we can enter the arena, where a boss will randomly spawn. Ah, we came across the Toxic Avenger! Completing multiple boss battles will let you gain some special points, usable to get a proper reward. Thank you for your attention. Before we part, we'd like to thank...